Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is my hope and prayer that this video is actually going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine. Kisumu is also fantastic. It's only tiagas which are all over. And as you know, today was Mandamano Day. And I want to ask you your thoughts on today's Mandamano, especially the one which took place in uh, Nairobi. Because for those who followed that particular event, Raila Odinga emerged from Mombasa Road, took a turn to Imara Daima, then went all the way to Embakasi, then to Otaring Road. Hell broke loose the moment the police came. What's your opinion about that? I'll do a critical analysis about the whole thing later. But right now, I want us to focus on a specific matter. The matter of Raila Odinga's communication vehicle. Because the police have been targeting that vehicle, for those who might not know, for a long time. And today, they managed to destroy it. And the question which Kenyans are asking, why would they specifically target this specific vehicle? For those who don't know, the vehicle you are seeing there is a, a vehicle which belongs to Rail Udinga's communications team. It is fitted with very expensive equipment. And uh, as you can see, the, the damage, the extent of the damage on this car, not by any other person, but by police themselves. The people who are in this vehicle, who are very good friends of mine, most of them were actually hurt. Some are currently in a hospital. And in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. There is a specific reason why they targeted this vehicle. As you can see at this point, the vehicle is actually surrounded by the water boozers, which was actually emitting some, uh, I don't know, pink water, which we even don't know the content. But let us look at why this particular vehicle has been under, uh, under the radar of the security apparatus in this country. Before we go into all those details, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. What we do on this channel is that we analyze politics in a way you can't find any other place. Like I'm sure, this analysis about this particular vehicle, you can't find it any other place. So just take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Michael Ngeno. I received your coffee. Thank you so much. Adundo, I received your wave. Thank you so much. Anthony, thank you. And Brian Saia, also thank you. I received your coffee. You can also do the same through the numbers on your screen. It goes a long way because we need this, that support to keep this channel running. Now, why do you think the police targeted this vehicle? And by the way, Kimani Ishungwa challenged, Railo, challenged the government to arrest Railo Dinga because he believes that arresting Railo Dinga would amount to nothing. Nothing is going to happen. Do you think the government can do that? They can't do that. And that's why they are targeting this particular vehicle. The guys using this vehicle are employed. These are just ordinary Kenyans who are doing their hustle. They are good friends of mine because I've worked with them. I, I, I used to board this vehicle. In fact, if they were here, probably I would have been in that vehicle probably. But why do you think this vehicle is, uh, was attacked this way? Because... If you look at the convoy, the only vehicle which was attacked was this one. And then some, uh, some Nini strayed to, canisters strayed to Railo Dinga's vehicle, which also broke the window. So normally what happens is that whenever Railo Dinga is moving, when you see, when you see the live, whenever Railo Dinga is moving in his convoy, this is the vehicle which is always at the front. Because it covers those events. It's normally at the front. Then after that, there is normally the vehicle with the security, the, the, the security vehicle, which has the people who clears the way. Then Relo Dinga's vehicle. 
that's how normally it is and then there's another one behind of the next security then it proceeds like that that's normally the formation so it means these guys wanted to send a message the fact is number one these guys were targeting this vehicle to send a coded message to Raila Amolo Odinga because this is his lead car and the extent of the damage you can only conclude that the main intention the main intention was to send a coded message in my view to Raila Amolo Odinga and the message is simple look at the extent of the damage the target is the driver's seat you know these vehicles normally run at a very high speed you get so you hit the driver what happens and this is the lead vehicle the other vehicles will automatically come hit it because the driver will lose control an accident will happen but apart from that they are sending a message to Raila Morodinga that if you can do this to your lead car please please be very careful we can also do the same to you and by the way another journalist uh, ntv journalist was also hit because he was also in one of the vehicles behind Raila Odinga one of their vehicles which was chasing was also hit and the guy i can't just share the photo here because uh, of the blood I, I normally try to be a bit professional but the fact is these guys are sending a message to Raila Odinga that we can do anything in fact i was talking to a friend of mine who works in uh, with the US army and he was telling me bana tell Raila Odinga to be very careful because a sniper can be planted on top of one of those buildings and whenever his convoy is moving then those guys can just hit and it was telling me because he works in the army there he was telling me that a good sniper can really target Raila from very far and nobody will notice you'll only see him falling down these are some of the messages which are being sent if you ask me number two. I also tend to think that the DJ, the famous DJ, is also a target. You know, if you've been following Raila Odinga's convoy since this whole thing began, one of the heroes is actually the DJ. The DJ sits in this vehicle. And why would they target DJ? Not necessarily to harm him. No, I don't think so. But the intention is to get the DJ disrupt the music because that music is what brings happiness in Azimio rallies. If you followed the rallies today for example, people were just dancing, dancing happily, dancing happily. Do you think Rigathi Gashagwa would be happy seeing uh, Azimio supporters dancing the way they were dancing? Do you even think William Ruto in status or addressing those that particular meeting where he was addressing today at Ulesereni would be happy seeing Azimio supporters dancing just because a dj knows how to keep them busy you know just because a dj is able to keep them moving you know they can't be happy so the idea is the dj so that the music can stop for those who are following this whole thing online through especially through the Linga facebook page the live stream the moment this vehicle was hit that was the end of the live show or the 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 live stream even the music ended and what followed we just saw altering turning chaotic something which i think is not is not good and by the way number 3 and before we get into number 3 i want to introduce you guys to startup.pro one of the websites which you can use to trade online and the good news with it is that it's possible to withdraw your money to mpesa and you can start trading with as uh, as little as 1500 so please check it out and uh, maybe you can also register now let us get to the main issue number three in my view i also tend to think that the intention is also to instill fear into the demonstrators normally when you go to a war there's normally the leader and if you see these guys messing up with the leader what happens next 
fear will be instilled. I remember <laughs> I remember in uh, 2013 we were campaigning for one of my friends <laughs> Jojo Nair in uh, in Rangwe. And then we went to a, an hotel. Huh? Then we were attacked. And you know these guys normally they have the bouncers, the bodyguard. And one of the bouncers was hit poop poop. He was down. You know us you know, we thought that the guy who was already down was the guy who was going to protect us. He's already down. What do you do? <laughs> so we took off. That's normally what happens. These guys are trying to instill fear into Raila Odinga supporters. Why? You know, Raila Odinga is a senior leader in this country. As supporters, you get your vehicle to join the convoy. As a supporter, you decide, okay, Today I'm going to join Raila Odinga from wherever, walking, following him, Mpaka Mwisho. Then you see Raila Odinga's vehicle being hit like that. If you had your vehicle online, what will you do? You'll just withdraw the vehicle, find the easiest exit. So that's the other reason why I think these guys decided to target Raila Odinga's vehicle. But importantly, the other reason which is actually this should have been number one is that the government believes very strongly that Raila Odinga has actually compromised police communication system and that his vehicles are fitted with communications equipment, especially after his radio was captured talking to the police. So they believe that Raila Odinga's vehicle is not fitted with this equipment. That the vehicle which is sending signals is this particular vehicle, communications vehicle. So you hit the vehicle. The vehicle will tomorrow be taken for repairs. Tell me if this vehicle will be taken for repairs. Tell me, just tell me, that the police will not go to where the vehicle will be repaired. Intelligence system will go, follow the vehicle. They'll just go there, oh, India, you get here, Baba, okay. Okay. Hey, it has a very nice music. Okay. Now this is what, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, talking nicely just with the mechanic. Just like as if you will also just take another vehicle for service there. So they'll be able to check. <laughs> or alternatively, they can get that opportunity to bug this vehicle. So as to be able to get whatever Raila Udinga and his team will be talking about when they are in this particular vehicle. And that's why I would advise Raila Odinga and his team that now that this vehicle has been uh, destroyed, they should be very careful with the place they'll be taking it for repairs. And once it's taken there, before they use it, they should actually do serious bugging of that vehicle. Because I'm sure <laughs> that's something they are going to do. And lastly, this vehicle is being targeted because it's the one which is gluing Kenyans from across the country together. Today, at some point, 24,000 Kenyans were actually watching Raila Odinga live while this was happening. William Ruto was also live on his Facebook page. Raila live, Ruto live. The people who were watching Ruto were only 900. Something which had never happened before. So it means these live shows also are able to bring out the reality on the ground. When you want to accuse Raila Odinga of organizing demonstrations, violent demonstrations, people are there dancing and singing. And by the way, I think you, you might also need my opinion about um, the burning of UD office in Kisumu. That building is just next year where I stay. And uh, the one in Seattle today. Because the one in Seattle, that UD office was not there before. It was acquired last week. It was painted this week. It was burnt this week. Someone somewhere is out to portray Azimio supporters as violent. So they can go to any extent. And this is nothing new. Sonko told us what they used to do before. Thank you guys. And let's have... A good day. Bye bye. By the way, my next video is that US Senator and Raila Odinga's meeting. So let's meet at that particular time. Thank you.